Oh, yep, that that's an assault drone. Wow, what do we do about this? I guess... <laughs> I guess we shoot it and kill it instantly. Wow. Is it just me or is, um... Soltron's not as scary as they used to be. I guess because, you know, I'm level, what, 45 now? Um, I, I, I'm a little bit better actually fighting these things. It's a lot better than I expected to be, but it makes sense. Soltrons are probably... What is this? Pipe wrench mod? Again? Probably not as easy, Not as scary when you're, like, super high level as, uh... As they would be if you weren't. Although... I, I don't believe for a second that level 45 counts as super high level. That is clearly not the case. As there is no level cap in this game, apparently, you can just keep on leveling well past level 100 if you want, and uh, <laughs> and get all the perks in the game eventually, presumably. I'm not sure if anybody has ever actually done that. I imagine that uh, at some point leveling up is going to get really hard, because the amount of experience points you need to get to the next level will just be obscene. So, hmm, I, I would be kind of interested to, uh, to know whether or not anybody has actually, uh, leveled up so high that they can, that they run out of things to put level ups into. Like, quite literally, they've maxed out every stat, acquired every perk, every level. I think I calculated it at one point, you'd need to be, like, level... 250 something, I think, uh, in order to get that. Ooh. Although, hmm. I'm not sure if my calculations are correct on that. So don't, don't go quoting me on that. I, 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 uh, I think that's roughly correct, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure. You can probably Google it to get the absolute uh, correct answer at any point you like. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm tempted to take all these Corsa uniforms because because who who just doesn't want to? Uh, ooh. These are cats. Why do they have house cats in here? Oh, Sith. Oh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. What were they doing in here? Why were they experimenting with FEV? This is... Ugh. That's like seriously no-go territory. Sweet. Are they just trying to produce more cat meat? <laughs> really? I wonder what you can actually make with cat meat. I don't know. We'll have to take it back to a cooking station and find out. But seriously, why would you ever... I mean, surely they know what the FEV does, right? That's... That's something... That's pretty, uh, well-known. Nice. Yeah, look, exactly. <laughs> Super Mutant. Exactly. So, will they deliver it? And why... What's with the house cats? I don't want to get what's going on here. Oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Toy car. Toy truck. Chessboard. Uh, 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 wooden blocks and a kickball. Okay. So I assume they had children in these, in these cells and 
This is the <laughs> result? Are you kidding me? How the hell does... Did Sean think that I could possibly join them? After seeing all of this. Oh my goodness. I guess, you know, this is not something I'm supposed to actually see. Uh, because I kind of broke my way in here. But, you know... That's, that's really disturbing. Oh, man. These guys are totally screwed up. These guys are so screwed up. Why? Why would you... Why would you infect children with FEV? What kind of crazy lunatic unfeeling monster would you have to be to lock a child up in a pen and infect them with FEV? Uh, okay. Um, gone. Oh, wow. Okay. Turret control. Yes, let's turn off the turrets. No, don't. Oh, damn it. Let's open the door. I think the turrets are well and truly off by now. Okay, another terminal. I assume that's just to control the door from this side. So I'm not going to worry about that. Oh. Oh, hello. This looks promising. Uh... Okay, what is this? Oh, hold tape. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone, know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone. Do you understand me? I'm going to make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Wow, okay. Um, so it sounds like uh, Father was like pushing this program and Virgil uh, wasn't seeing any new results. Uh, he was uh, not um, having a good time uh, infecting random people with FEV. So uh, he decided to, I don't know, like destroy the research or something? What is this? Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is um, August. 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that, I don't even want to know where this came from, but, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized, but I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Yeah, well, another person who wasn't too keen on experimenting with this thing, and no, no kidding. Um, okay, so look, here's the experimental serum. Uh, so now we can take that back to Virgil at some point. That's good to know. Uh, there's one more tape here. 
This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 2224. We just received another batch of subjects, but as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board, exposure to too much radiation. We need something, someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Uh huh. All right. Well, uh, okay. So it, I think the other door went just back out into the bioscience institution as well. I would prefer to re-enter, um, the bioscience, ins bioscience institute. I, I, I don't know what this is called. Bioscience section, uh, from this area because there is nobody around here. <laughs> um, maybe I should just sort of like close the doors. I totally didn't go in there, guys. Nobody saw me do it. It's fine. Everything's fine. But yeah, um, because I, I believe the other door, the other exit, uh, actually exits directly into here behind this, if my memory serves. There's, yeah, so you'd come out there and then you'd have to exit through this gate thing, which well, I, I suppose it's... Um, I mean, the only people who are going to see you are the gorillas, but it's kind of risky, so I'm sure nobody would even bat an eyelid because they all seem completely um, non-hostile and everything, but let's not. Let's not. Let's, let's try to, um, let's try to make myself as, as minimally suspicious as I possibly can. So who, who are we supposed to see next? We've got so everybody's over this way apparently. Is it true food supplement seventy seven has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the bioscience division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want supplement 77. <laughs> I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. Yes. Useless machine. I want supplement 77. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Um, so there's nothing here. This is advanced systems. What are these guys talking about? When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? You know I can't talk about that. Ooh. Tell me about Pardon phase me. three. Can you, can you... Hey. You smell like you've been above ground. Yeah. Sorry, I'll put on some deodorant next time. But no, I, I doubt she will tell me about phase three either because... Because I'm not that convincing, and she doesn't know me. So what is this about? She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Okay. <laughs> well. That was productive. Yeah, it certainly seemed like it. Hey, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. Uh, mental comparisons of, uh, Institute rifles? Okay. You're lying! That's impossible! What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Oh, well, um, I, I have yet to actually decide that, but, uh, I, I will take some of your ammunition. I, ooh. ooh, I didn't mean to disturb your careful layout here, but, all right, um, this, One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor somebody to we're supposed to in the talk to in here? 
Yeah. Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Okay. What work? What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Nice. Wow. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Okay. Um, progress report? Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry. I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Ooh, wow. Um, should I ask her more questions? I... Let's just... Dr. Lee. Let's just get this uh, out of the way now, I guess. Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Okay. Dr. Lee. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. <laughs> Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the child synth, to focus on phase three. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. What is phase three? I need to hack this terminal and find out what phase three is. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait until... She's asleep or something. Oh, oh, okay, so this is where the child synth lives. Fair enough, I won't steal his mentats and stimpacks. <laughs> I don't know what he has a need for that for, but all right. Um, I'll take those, though. Uh, there's more terminals we can look at, I guess. Uh, access log, research proposals. Cold fusion, human cybernetics, eh, eh, miniaturization, hang on, uh, technology could potentially make it possible, miniaturization, what are they miniaturizing, um, possible use a really like to shrink someone down to the size of an insect, or even smaller, <gasps> Wow. <laughs> Plasma weaponry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very, very interesting. Uh, I'm glad I didn't get shrunk down to the size of an insect. That would have been really disturbing if I had come in uh, to the Institute in a different size. Uh, regulation updates. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, there's, there's stuff. I'm not going to look at it all because um, I will be here all day if I... Safety first. Remember that. Thanks. Uh, what's in here, I wonder? Ooh. Ooh. Secrets. Secrets uh, hidden behind uh, doors and uh, hallways that are cordoned off with laser wires. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, there's somebody else I have to talk to as well, and I don't know where they are. They seem to be up there. Okay. Okay. I should probably put the gun away. I mean, come on. <laughs> what, am I, what am I hoping to achieve with that? What is in here? Uh, oh, are these personal quarters. Oh, they are. Okay. Okay. I can loot these later while nobody's looking. Um... I, I don't have to uh, spend all my time stealing everything in everybody's personal quarters right now. What is... Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to her? It's probably not the best time. Um... 
Oh wow, okay, and that kid is there. What time is it, by the way? Um... Oh look, they'll be up in a few hours. I guess we can wander around a little bit more. There wasn't there another uh, section that I hadn't looked into. Um, so I've done, I've done synth retention. I've done bioscience. I've done advanced systems. Uh, I didn't go into robotics. I think this one. Okay. I assume that uh, Ali Fillmore must be in charge of this section, though, right? It was probably just a you wouldn't happen to have a spare polarizer on you, would you? If it were just a limb twitching, but her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movements while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself what it means. If so much research. Into so one of your time. Speeches about artificial sentience in machines with souls. Don't bother. I've heard enough of them by now. Hell, I can write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, then it is a living person by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines. So we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Dr. Binet, you know where to find the telegram. Now just a moment. I never said that. I'm simply trying to open everyone's eyes to new possibilities. Well, it's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, not philosophers. We do well to remember that. Another lovely day, isn't it? With our third generation since, we've improved the point. All this must be a little overwhelming for you. <laughs> you said it. Wow, okay. Uh, so there's a lot going on there. There was a very interesting conversation between two scientists talking about souls. I don't know why uh, Institute scientists would even, uh, for a second, uh, entertain the theory that even normal human beings have a soul, let alone uh, synthetics. Um, and then there's this whole process of, of of constructing human beings, skeletons, out of material, and uh, this is this is pretty sweet. This is like a a synth production line. Wow. I mean, when Glory said that they were built. Um, from scratch. Um, I guess this is what she was talking about. <laughs> it's very, very fascinating. Oh. Oh, okay. Hello. Welcome. Please, step this way. Is this it? Hang on, isn't there another step? What? Why is the machine not... You know, I... I I feel like uh, this production line could be a little bit more efficient because this guy was sitting here for like several seconds and nothing was happening. Wow. Come on. Pick up the pace. They should have three arms on this thing. That's the problem. Okay. So I guess this is where they make all the male synths. I wonder if they recalibrate the machine to make the female ones. And what I find especially disturbing is that that they all come out of this um, looking exactly the same as the previous one and wearing underwear. So I don't know what this this soup stuff does, but. Processing. Can I go in here? I want to follow. Can I? Can I? Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Wow. Th there's there's a lot to um to to take in here to talk about. Um. Good to see maybe you. start with this guy. Well, I hope. Doctor. Ah, it's you. 
You're finally with us. I'd just like to apologize for any trouble our sins may have caused for you on your way here. They, of course, couldn't be told of your identity. And they have very specific protocols for protecting themselves and institute interests. Most of which I designed myself. Not to make problems for you, though. I, uh... Will you be staying with us, then? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking it over. Well, I hope you do decide to stay. It would mean a great deal to Sean. If you require anything, especially as it pertains to synths, please let me know. Okay. And what about you? The synths are just father's legacy. They're his gift to humanity. Doc, you've arrived at a momentous time. Our third generation synths are a true breakthrough. The culmination of centuries of research. It's no exaggeration to say that they're superior in almost every way to human beings. Wow, okay. Not superior to me! What makes them superior? The list of improvements is exhausting. I can talk for an hour and still not cover all of it. Imagine what you could accomplish if you could live without fear of hunger or disease. Imagine what you could create if you could spend every waking moment of your life as you saw fit. With no need of sleep, like I said, a momentous time. Wow, okay, that that's really interesting because... Um, uh, okay, so th there is a, um, a, a companion that I haven't picked up that you can actually um, meet in your travels, uh, and uh, she is a synth. And she will travel with you. Um, and she just goes on and on about um, having, like, all yeah, because th th there's a whole backstory with it. But um, Father's work has been one of the things that she keeps saying is stuff like, "Oh yes, I'm uh, I'm hungry or I'm sleepy," and uh, this is all very fascinating because um, because she's not used to that kind of stuff yet. Clearly, if she's in the synth body, and uh, if we're to believe this scientist guy, that she should never actually get sleepy or hungry. But apparently, um, somebody is mistaken about uh, what it means to be a synth, and whether or not you do actually get hungry. Because uh, the synths that I've uh, actually spoken to and encountered on the surface actually do need to sleep, and they do need to eat. Uh, so, err. Uh, some some level of inconsistency there, um, and I don't think it ever gets clarified. I think it was just a, an oversight on the writer's part, um, because hang on, I'm supposed to where where was this woman? Damn it, she's like in the next section, is it? So, <sighs> but yeah, um, I, I think uh, the the dialogue for those. Uh, uh, two characters were written independently, and uh, I wish you could have known there was a bit of a uh, miscommunication amongst uh, the the writers uh, I when they were figuring out like the specific details of um, of what it means to be a synth and whether or not you do actually <laughs> need to eat and drink and sleep and all the other stuff. Um, so, uh, do we have to just wait for her to wake up? I, I think I just wake her up. Look, your husband is up. It's time to get out of bed, damn it. Come on. Hi, Doc. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't find my notes anywhere. They weren't kidding. Rise and shine. They really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? What are you, a shrink? Uh, yeah, why do you ask? What makes you ask? I'm a complete stranger to you. I suppose when I heard your story, I just, well, I felt sorry for you. You've suffered more tragedy than any one person deserves. Your whole world is gone. I'm sorry. I know that was a very personal question. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. 
There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? <laughs> not so fast. <laughs> I'm not on board with anything. No? And yet here you are, poking around. One might find that suspicious. <laughs> if you're not planning on staying, I'd recommend keeping your hands to yourself. Wouldn't want to give the impression you're up to something. Ooh. And consider having oh. another talk with Sean. He really is anxious to have you with us. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have been a... L oh, you can now fast travel uh, to the Institute from anywhere in the Commonwealth and out of the Institute to the CRT ruins. Oh, okay. Um, so I've completed that. All right, who... yeah. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. <laughs> Unlikely. No, no, Dr. I'm, I'm not done. Hey, what do you need? Ah, uh, division personnel. Power needs, yeah. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> You don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Ooh. I, I do kind of want to know, actually. Something I can help you with? Actually, no, I kind I do know because I had to power one myself. Although that wasn't a de... Yeah, no, that was a dematerializer. I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that was like all the questions. Oh, she's going back to bed. Come on, it's six o'clock in the morning. Get to work. Um, and uh, yeah, now we have the quest done and we're supposed to go talk to uh, this father guy or Sean or whatever the hell he wants to call himself um, to move on to the next quest. But uh, this seems like a good time to end the video. So uh, I am going to wrap this up for the moment and uh, continue on another time. So thanks guys guys for watching and uh you know if uh uh if you want to comment or uh, please do uh feel free to and uh, feel free not to as the case may be and of course um if you want to see more you may subscribe and uh you will be notified with all the uh the upcoming videos that I will be releasing and of course uh, please do like the video if you liked it um, and I will catch you guys uh, in the next video where we will um, continue on with uh, I don't know talking to random scientists but probably also um, following up on the next quest that we just got given which is synth retention we're supposed to go out and hunt down synths so that we know what being an institute courser is all about i guess i don't know, I don't know. uh so i will see you guys then